Conditional sentences. Conditional sentences are used to speculate about what could happen, what might have happened, and what we wish would happen. These sentences contain a conditional clause, often referred to as the if clause and the consequence. In the example below, the if clause tells you the condition, if you study hard, and the main clause tells you the result, you will pass your exams. The entire sentence would read, if you study hard, you will pass your exams. In this lesson, we will learn about all the different types of conditional sentences. Types of conditional sentences There are four different types of conditional sentences in English. Each expresses a different degree of probability that a situation will occur or would have occurred under certain circumstances. They are as follows. Zero conditional sentences. First conditional sentences. Second conditional sentences. Third conditional sentences. Zero conditional sentences. Zero conditional sentences express general truths, situations in which one thing always causes another. When we use a zero conditional, we're talking about a general truth, rather than a specific instance of something. For example, If you don't brush your teeth, you get cavities. When people smoke cigarettes, their health suffers. Notice that while using the zero conditional, the correct tense to use in both clauses is the simple present tense. Also, the words, if and when, can be used interchangeably, in these zero conditional sentences. First conditional sentences. First conditional sentences are used to express situations in which the outcome is likely, but not guaranteed, to happen in the future. For example, If you rest, you will feel better. If you set your mind to a goal, you'll eventually achieve it. Note that we use the simple present tense in the if clause, and simple future tense in the main clause, the clause that expresses the likely outcome. This is how we indicate that under a certain condition, a specific result will likely happen in the future. Second conditional sentences Second conditional sentences are useful for expressing outcomes that are completely unrealistic or will not likely happen in the future. For example, If I inherited a billion dollars, I would travel to the moon. If I owned a zoo, I might let people interact with the animals more. Notice that the correct way to structure second conditional sentences is to use the simple past tense in the if clause, and an auxiliary modal verb, could, should, would, might, in the main clause, the one that expresses the unrealistic, or unlikely outcome. Third conditional sentences Third conditional sentences are used to explain that present circumstances would be different if something different had happened in the past. For example, If you had told me you needed a ride, I would have left earlier. If I had cleaned the house, I could have gone to the movies. 
Note that while using the third conditional, we use the past perfect, that is, had, plus past participle, in the if clause. The modal auxiliary, would, could, should, etc., plus have, plus past participle, in the main clause, expresses the theoretical situation that could have happened. Punctuating conditional sentences Despite the complex nature of conditional sentences, punctuating them properly is really simple. Use a comma after the if clause, when the if clause precedes the main clause. For example, If I'd had time, I would have cleaned the house. If the main clause precedes the if clause, no punctuation is necessary. For example, I would have cleaned the house if I'd had time. Thank you.